Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my favorite Disney theme park, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and we are here for opening day of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's get to it. But before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. We are here at 6 a.m. in the morning. The park is supposed to open at 8 a.m. We think it may open a little early and this is what the crowd looks like. I'm doing this because I'm a YouTuber. If I did not have a YouTube channel, I would avoid opening days of stuff. But for you guys, I'm here and we're gonna check it out. And they have opened the turnstiles. I'm sure this is just to get us into another line. And just for the record, they opened the turnstiles at 6.50. I do hope a portion of this crowd is going to Galaxy's Edge. But I must admit, it feels good just to be moving. At least all the stores are open. The marquee for the ride looks beautiful when it's all lit up. Here's a little bit of uh, the walkthrough for you guys, how they got all the switchbacks going on now. <laughs> a few more switchbacks outside and then it appears like we're getting really close to entering the actual building. Wait a second, I was fooled. A couple more switchbacks right by the marquee. And we're now entering the building, but I'm preparing myself for that moment. We're just gonna stop and I'm gonna have to be standing. Right now, I've enjoyed the walk. I got inside of the building at 7.20, by the way. The queue has all these little uh, cute short movie posters of Mickey and Minnie and other various characters. This is the last of the queue before we get into the pre-show theater. And now, here's the pre-show for you guys to enjoy. Well, this is unexpected. We actually get to walk into the cartoon. <laughs> So we have entered the queue area that is directly before you get onto the ride vehicles. And here we go guys, enjoy the ride. Now if you don't want to be spoiled, I will put a time marker on the screen right now to let you know when you could join back on the video without seeing the POV of this ride. Time is now 7.40, that's when we're getting on the ride. Can you all hear me? 
time for Rick's ride review of Mickey's first ever attraction at Walt Disney World, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's talk about it. It was nice being inside the Chinese theater again. Um, the first part of the queue just had like uh, some little like movie posters of the shorts that uh, Mickey has done or would do. Um, and then we move into the pre-show theater and you watch the little short. The amazing thing, the cool thing, the unexpected thing was when 
you actually walk through the screen into the cartoon. I had no idea that was going to happen. That was very fun, very cool effect. And then we get into the ride itself, which was super, super cute, so adorable. I know what they are saying with the 2.5D now. Those were some really cool effects, that 2.5D effect that they have on this ride. Mickey's and Minnie's Railway, Runaway Railway, is a trackless ride. It's a very colorful, very vibrant ride. And you can notice the change in like uh, in certain scenes. Like for example, when we go through the tornado scene, how you have that, it's a, it gets very windy inside of the ride. So another cool effect they're using there. One of my favorite parts of the ride was indeed the waterfall section. That was cute. I really like that section of the ride, a lot of fun. I like it when it, you kind of fake fall on rides. That's a fun thing for me to do. There's a lot to see on this ride on both sides. Now, I try to be real steady with the camera, uh, but when you're on the ride yourself, you'll be whipping your head back and forth to catch everything that's happening on both sides of the ride vehicle. I didn't time it, but the ride itself seems to last a pretty good amount of time. I don't know, four minutes, maybe give or take four minutes, maybe up to five at max. Another really cool section of the ride is when you enter a dance hall with Daisy. So what happens here is there's actually four ride vehicles that enters the ballroom or the dance floor and Daisy leads them teaching us how to do the waltz. Very, very cool and unexpected. Another little cool thing, since this is opening day, at the end of the ride they had a lot of the Imagineers and the people who brought the ride to us, they are standing giving us an ovation. <laughs> So as a fan, a big fan of the great movie ride, what do I think? I really like it. I think it is a great addition to the park. I cannot wait to get Nikki on it. Currently for today, the wait time is 300 minutes for a runaway railway. But if you're visiting in the future, they do have a fast pass available. So go check the app, keep checking and checking, refreshing, and try to get yourself a fast pass for runaway railway. One more thing to accomplish today. Nikki wants an opening day t-shirt for this ride, so let's see if I can find one. Here in Once Upon a Time, this is where I should be able to find the opening day merch. Grab a t-shirt for Nikki. And here is the line for merchandise. I'm gonna take a picture of this, send it to Nikki, see if she still wants me to wait in line for merchandise. I have a feeling I would be in line for this longer for the merchandise than I was for the actual ride. All right, I'm doing it. I'm waiting in line to get her a t-shirt. So here's the pass holder shirt I got for Nikki. It glows in the dark. Uh, regular price was $28, but after my pass holder discount, we got it for around 23. Well, there you go, guys. Rick's ride review of the Runaway Railway. Boy, that's a lot of R's. <laughs> As always, guys, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it's time to relax.